Hi guys! It's a beautiful afternoon once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, today's video, I'm going to share with you how to breed our catfish. Well, in our past videos, we made mention about the importance of the fry care. We pointed out so many tips on how to care our fry in order to become successful in this uh, catfish breeding. Well, today I would like to discuss with you in detail how to breed our catfish. This is really very important because if we will fail in our breeding, then our efforts will just become useless. And this has been asked by some of our followers to discuss in detail how to breed our catfish. Well, we will start our discussion with the tank preparation. As you can see over there, we have actually two tanks for our spawning. And you will realize later that the tanks that we needed are just very shallow for us to successfully breed our catfish. Well, the two tanks only measured around one meter in width and we have four meters in length and we have just one fourth meter in depth. And this is a good measurement for a spawning tank as per my experience. Now, the spawning tank should contain an aged water. This is very important. And you will see that this water had already been prepared five or six days ago. Because if we will use new water, then there is no way that these eggs of the catfish will be hatched. So this is really a must. We have to use an aged water for at least Take note the word at least five days before we're gonna spawn our catfish. So you will see right there that I have prepared a net. And this net is attached to a wood. We actually made a frame of it. And in other channels, they were talking about the kakaban or this kind of material that will serve us the egg collector. But in our place, we don't have this kind, so we use the alternative instead. And the alternative is the net. Well, there is no hard and fast rule here because uh, you can use anything that would enable us to collect the eggs. If we don't have that kind of material, of course, we can use the net, we can use the sack or whatever, as long as we can collect the eggs. So we will get near to our spawning tank for us to have a closer look at it. So this is the frame that I am talking about and we use the net and this uh, one half inch wood, one half by two inch and this will now serve as our egg collector. So the purpose of this is to ensure that all the eggs will be collected in this particular container. I used to call this the container of eggs. And we will put that this way. And as soon as the catfish breeder will lay their eggs over here, all the eggs will become attached to the net. After they spawn their eggs, we will lift this up and then transfer to another container. And the reason for this is that if we will just allow the eggs to settle here in the spawning tank, it will become rotten because the water is already contaminated with the milk of the male catfish. So we will just imagine that we already have here the eggs. So we will lift this up and then we will turn this upside down like that and then put that in a separate tank over there. So the actual demonstration of this will happen tomorrow because our mission today is to just select breeders and then we will put those breeders a pair, just one male and one female in the spawning tank and then we will wait tomorrow. We will have again another video for tomorrow where we will witness how this catfish gonna lay their eggs. Well, maybe you will imagine that this catfish will just lay their eggs like the Japanese koi, but it is not. It is really not because they will lay eggs like the betta fish. 
the male catfish will coil around the female catfish and will induce the female catfish to lay her eggs and then the male will immediately fertilize it. So these things that I'm talking about will be witnessed by us tomorrow. In breeding our catfish, we only need one pair in one single spawning tank. I normally do not mix them together, meaning that I only use one male and one female. Because if I will use two males, then the tendency is they will fight. have to get this. I will show you how to identify the male from the female. See that? So guys, this is a male catfish. And of course, you will see that there are genitals right here protruding. And you will see that the body or the belly is not rounded. So guys, we already have selected a male, male catfish to become our breeder and now we will select the female. The difference between the male and the female is very obvious, just very obvious. You will just look at the body of the female, it's really rounded, it's bigger in size compared to the male. Okay, I have already caught. So you will see that the belly is protruding and you will see that there are eggs here. These are filled with eggs you will see that the body is just so rounded okay we'll spawn your eggs tonight so guys we already have placed one male and one female catfish to serve as our breeder and i am very sure that this female catfish will spawn her eggs tonight and with the use of you know this net i hope we can collect more eggs and also we can transfer the eggs to another cleaner tank and that's it This is now the second part of our video and actually we've been here as early as 4 o'clock just to verify if the breeder catfish have laid their eggs and I have spotted some eggs right here and uh, these eggs are fertile eggs because they are in black color or brownish in color. You will know if the eggs that have been hatched are fertile or not by just looking at the color of the eggs meaning that if this uh, eggs are whitish they are spoiled eggs and if this are in brown color or in dark color that's very clear then this is an indication that those eggs that have been laid are fertile eggs so i can safely conclude that the eggs that have been laid by the breeders are actually fertile eggs because their color are dark and this is now the result of the water preparation that we have made. I've always mentioned about the water preparation because this is really very important. This is the beginning of the process and if we will begin right, then I am sure that we're gonna be able to succeed in this particular uh, endeavor, this uh, catfish breeding. So now the next thing is we will just allow the breeders to lay eggs until 7 o'clock in the morning because this time is 5 o'clock we will give them another two hours to completely 
spawn their eggs and that's the time that we're gonna transfer the the nets that we have prepared as our egg collector and this tank is prepared for the hatching of our eggs because all these eggs will be lifted and transferred in this particular tank and you will see that a little later so for the meantime we will just allow them to completely do the process of spawning and then after we will we will transfer all the eggs right there so we will wait for another two hours so finally i observed that they are already resting and it's safe to assume now that they have completed laying their eggs so we will now lift this uh, egg collector which is uh, the net that we have prepared and I will let you see the eggs well in other channels they're talking about this uh, kakaban thing I don't know what is that kind of material but in our case we use the net this is the ordinary net that we can just uh, buy in the market and you will see that there are many eggs right here you will see the stones uh, it's filled with eggs and this is a good indication that the eggs are fertile because this is not white so guys this is the evidence of the eggs that we have gathered you will see right here there are too many eggs that are attached to the net see that one this is very clear in our camera I, I, I suppose so guys we already have collected the eggs by the use of this net and it's really very visible with the camera you will see now that the eggs are attached to this particular uh, material so we will now lift this one of course we will ask the help of our our staff oh no be careful with the eggs okay okay and then we will put that upside down wait for me okay go so we will reverse this one of course uh, we will carefully do this because otherwise we will also harm the eggs so this is it just like that maybe you will ask what's the significance about this net well this is very significant because all the eggs that are fertile will be hatched in a matter of 48 hours and then all the eggs that are not fertile will not become hatch and there is a way for you to 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 lift or to gather the spoiled eggs so as not to contaminate the water so this is very important so the moment that an egg will become a hatchling or this uh, wiggler uh, it will automatically detach from from this net and those spoiled eggs that are not hatch will remain on the net stick to the net and that's the time after 48 hours that we can safely get the net and put it outside the reason is for us to lift all the spoiled eggs that will somehow contaminate the water so guys we will proceed to you know lifting the other egg collectors that we have prepared but I can sense that majority of the eggs are laid on the net because they prefer to lay their eggs on a dark object just leave that and then put that over there okay so guys we have eggs right here this is the proper way how to do it okay another one is here okay there are so many eggs right here but the majority of the eggs that have been laid are stick on the the net okay We'll just float that one, it's alright, but we have to turn it upside down, just like that, okay. So guys, it's time now to remove the breeders. They will not be laying eggs anymore. Smart, very smart. Doesn't want to get inside. This is a male. This is the male breeder. He find his way to escape, but you cannot escape. Okay. And then we will remove the female very gently okay just like that okay so we will put that 
in the tank so guys you will note that in this particular tank we also have so many eggs and I think 50 or 40 percent of the eggs that have been laid by our breeders are here so the question is what we will do with the eggs right here of course we cannot anywhere lift this one we will just allow the eggs to hatch right here and the water management after 72 hours is really very important you will note that we have this uh, drain pipe over here and the level of this is up to this only and the purpose of this is to serve as our drain pipe all the water will just flow out right there through that uh, drain pipe and you will see in the third part of this video that after we gonna hatch the eggs we will start the water management meaning that we will put in some new water and put out old water right there it is just like adding some new water in this particular tank and flowing out the old water through that drain pipe so in the third part of this video you will see that there are wigglers that we can see I am very positive of this because the eggs are really fertile and I am sure of the 80 to 90 percent hatchability I hope that this tip will guide you and encourage you to do your own thing so we will wait for 72 hours that's three days or maybe 48 hours before we are gonna make the third part of this video so guys this is the third part of our video actually the first part of this where the tank preparations and the water preparations and then the second part is the setting up of the spawning tank and putting the breeders inside the spawning tank and this is the third the third is for us to verify if all the eggs that have been laid are already hatched now you will see that there are many spoiled eggs I already have told you that in this breeding it is normal to see spoiled eggs more than the eggs that have been hatched so now you will see the importance of the egg collector because the egg collector will allow us to gather the, the spoiled eggs out from the spawning tank to prevent the water from being spoiled or contaminated others will use the kakaban uh, I don't know what kind of material is that but uh, ours is just a simple net and any other material to serve as our egg collector as you can see down below there are already wigglers and these wigglers are just 48 hours old and maybe you will ask Dexter is it proper to feed them immediately well in my in my other videos I said that it is not really advisable to give them food because they will die and they will not eat as of the moment because they are fed with their egg yolk so this is it and I will invite you to take a closer look at the second tank where we are going to lift now the net that we use as our egg collector I am quite confident that we can get plenty of hatchlings right here so I will lift this very carefully now of course we will take extra precaution because there are still that are attached to it I mean there are still babies that are unable to detach themselves from this net so we will do this very carefully and very gently so I'm doing this uh, for purposes of demonstration and for us to clearly grasp about the facts or the lessons that I am sharing with you um, yes we have here plenty of eggs that were not hatched and this is very crucial because if we will not be able to get this one this unhatched eggs will become now the source of the bacteria it will contaminate the water and the bacteria sets in and it will now kill all the hatchlings so this is it we'll see the importance now of putting an egg collector maybe you will ask me Dexter is there any reason now to celebrate because we have successfully 
hatch the eggs? Well, I would say that there is no reason yet to celebrate because we have just entered a very crucial stage in the whole breeding process. If we will commit mistake, then all this baby fish will just disappear. In one single moment, you will just realize that they are no longer here because they all died and they vanished. So what is now the best thing to do? Well, the water management now sets in. We have to add new water right here and siphon some 30% of the water out of the tank. And in this particular tank, we don't anymore siphon. What we're gonna do is to just uh, add water and then when the water reaches up to the level of the exhaust pipe, the water will just drip down below. And it will now create a new condition of the water that is already fresh. So this is the whole thing. And just stick to this channel because in our next video, we're gonna make an update about our baby catfish that have been hatched just a few hours ago. And you will see that this area is our breeding facility now. And in fact, our staff have just uh, harvested some of our mollies and we are doing this on a regular basis. And this has been now a good source of income uh, in relation to our business of having this aquatic shop or this, the pet store. Actually, we have two branches of this and these are the things that motivated me to breed a lot and then sell that to our pet shop. If we are just industrious enough to do all these things, then I am sure that we're gonna prosper. So thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe to our second channel, Dexter's World Love Drive. You help the people with their basic needs. And that channel is called Dexter's World Love Drive. You can check this out. And uh, please subscribe also to our main channel, Dexter's World, because, you, because we are uploading videos every three to five days, only here at Dexter's World.